Hello and welcome to my lecture on clinical study design. In this lecture, I'll go over four pertinent types of study designs and how you can tell the difference between them. So, unfortunately, they all start with the C. Cohort, cross-sectional, case control, and clinical trial. And for this lecture, I'm asking you to only consider prospective cohort studies. Retrospective cohort studies are weaker, uh, more criticized, and less pertinent to the kinds of scenarios that you'll encounter in your clinical experiences. So as for cohort studies, I have highlighted the H. So you're hovering over a group of people to see what develops. And again, I just want to remind you I'm talking about prospective cohort studies. We're looking forward and we can measure relative risk. And I highlighted the H because it's the only study in the four that I introduced that has an H. And H is for home. And that's where you'll hopefully find your relatives. Cross-sectional, we know the exposure and outcome. Therefore, we cross out the thought of looking forward or backwards. You are stuck in time so they can take a section out of you. That's my second way of looking at it. And my third way of looking at it is if you're frozen, your head can't move and you can't look forward or backward. You use a cross-sectional study to determine the extent of, the of a phenomenon that you already know about that's occurring in a community at the current time. And does that sound familiar? Because it should. That's prevalence that you can get. So remember, you can get prevalence out of a cross-sectional study. Case control study. You know the outcome of the case. You're starting with the outcome of the case and you're looking backwards to look for exposure. You can use this to calculate the odds ratio, and there's really nothing special to remember on this. So just remember, if you're looking backwards, you can calculate the odds ratio. A clinical trial, you're trying something out on people. This is a huge topic, and remember, these are ex this is an experimental study. The previous three I dis discussed are observational studies. And a clinical trial, which is an experimental study, is a huge topic that warrants another lecture. Just for this lecture, you should know the difference between the four major types of clinical designs that I discussed. And I've listed three vignettes for you to practice your knowledge on. The first is 20 people out of 100 in a community are exposed to purple light. After three years, it is found that 10 purple light exposed people have developed purple eyes and five who had never been exposed have developed it. Since it was discovered that green light exposure affects green spot formation, a unique way of measuring light exposure and spot formation has been created. In a different community on New Year's Day, light exposure and spot formation are measured. And the third vignette is, in a hospital, 100 polka-dotted and 100 non-polka-dotted creatures sign consent for their files and medical histories to be examined. It is found that 60 of the polka-dotted creatures were exposed to polka-dotted inducing light, whereas 10 of the non-polka-dotted creatures were exposed to polka inducing light. So figure out in each of these three vignettes what study design, uh, what study design was used and what you can calculate from that and I will post the answers shortly. So that ends my lecture on clinical study design. I hope that this helped you. I would remind you to please subscribe and please also watch my other videos.